good morning YouTube. It's wet, it's rainy, and it's kind of cold outside, but it's not here nor there. But anyway, this video has another one of my older ones, and you know, you oftentimes catch the same fish in the same day. It has happened. Well, what happened in this one was kind of crazy. I've never had this one happen before. Enjoy the video. All right, this was originally supposed to be a catch and cook where I go catch some crappie and turn them into fried crappie po' boy sandwiches. But it's Sunday, and even though it is later now, it's just gorgeous weather today. So everybody was out fishing and doing whatever. So every single one of my cra uh, crappie spots were taken. But I hit the Farm Creek and had a pretty freaking good time. This is why I don't fish the weekends hardly at all. Anyway, we've been to, this is now eight spots that I've drove by. Trying to find somewhere that I can possibly catch a couple of crappie for this po' boy sandwich thing. Anyway, it's Sunday afternoon. Really just gorgeous weather. So yeah, everybody's out. I just can't blame them. Anyway, we're down here at the Farm Creek now. And I'm going to give it just a little while because it took too long to find a spot that nobody was at. So we're going to get down here and try to catch a couple crappie real quick i've picked up something pretty freaking awesome it's actually a fanny pack but i have a uh, beer gut so it's a fanny pack perfect for putting some uh plastics some hooks a little thing for your pliers it's like 14 bucks i thought it was like nine and was like what the heck when i paid for it hey we got us a fish Pretty bluegill. A lot of people would call that eating size, but I ain't about to deal with trying to flay a six inch bluegill. This feels decent. Well, that was a bluegill with ambition. <laughs> that Bobby Garland is bigger than his mouth is wide. But there may be a bed there because I dropped it in there once and it got hit. But I missed it. Anybody home? Hey, there's some good cedar right there. And there's some heroin needles. Not surprising. Hey, what do we have? Good little creek bass. You are a chunky little fart, too. Very chunky, and you're missing part of your tail. You are a healthy little fish, my friend. So it's good to catch something like that. Splash. That's large. No, I mean legit, that's large. What do I have? Jeez. Straight up. No, 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 no. Chill, 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 chill. Chill, 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 chill. chill. The car coming, I can't let them know my secrets. That is a good little creek bass. Like, that is awesome. Like, for this size of creek, you know, 12, 13 inch little bass. That is a good little bass right there for a small creek like this. Sploosh. Jeez. 
Yeah. Ah, peak share. Almost forgot. L. Stop. Ow. Yo, I just got slapped in the face like six times by this bluegill. What do I have? You are so very close to being keeper size. Actually, you probably are keeper size. Do I want to do it? <clears throat> yeah, you're you're too close to call. Cause knowing my luck, the one time that I decide to keep a fish that's like a quarter inch short, here comes every game warden in this part of the state. Of course, I wouldn't keep undersized fish because personally. I don't think 10 inch crappie are all that worth it unless I can catch a, me a mess of them. If I'm gonna keep crappie, I prefer them to be at least 11 to 12. That way you get some good size fillets. Another, f hey, you're what we're after. You are what we are after, but you ain't big enough. You, my friend, ain't big enough, and I need to hook you somewhere. And you have either got a belly full of other little fishies, or you're a very small female crappie with eggs. <sighs> Thought I was snagged, and technically I wasn't wrong. Are you the same crappie that I just caught? Please stop squirming. Your dorsal fins are rearranging the skin on my fingers. Huh. You got a little pudge too. I'll have to look at the other picture. And see if you're the same one. Let's see if I can get a little bit brighter. I just caught the same crappie twice. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's a little, those little marks right, dang it, those little marks right there at the end of my finger, all right, same exact marks on the other one, I took entirely too long to do that, I literally just caught the same crappie twice. What do we got here? Got us a third crappie of the day. That's a crappie and most of his dorsal fin is gone. Like the spines are mangled they're gone something's took a chunk out of him or somebody at some point's tried to use him as bait but yeah as far as as far as catching multiple or catching the same fish multiple times i ain't trying to sound like i'm complaining because i think it's pretty freaking funny catching the same fish twice with two different species Oh, I got a fish. I thought I was snagged on a... I thought I was snagged on the bottom. So I just kind of eased into it to try to pull it up. Pull the lure out. But we have a... Dang fine specimen of the same freaking bass that I just caught earlier. 
Seriously. Hey, we finally found one. It's been all of about 15, 20 minutes. Got us a real nice, healthy bluegill. Sploosh. all right that was a pretty nice little trip down here on the creek um didn't catch any real big fish but we caught the snot out of fish and it was pretty funny catching the same fish or catching the same bass twice and the same crappie twice but anyway let's go over this little fanny pack thing that i picked up at walmart earlier um You've got a massive amount of adjustment here. Like, I'm a big dude, and this right here is way more than I need to get around my big ass. But the little elastic band here that holds the straps when you've got them all folded up makes a really good little plier holder deal there. And you can, of course, slide that up and down wherever you want it. And then you've got little loops and then you've got little loops right here on the front. You've got one, two, three, four, five of them. You can slide them down in there. You've got a pouch here. Excuse all the banging. You've got a little pouch here on the front. Put hooks, tools, or pliers. Uh, jig heads. Camera batteries. Your phone, whatever. And then another big pouch to put your lures and just whatever else in it whatever you're gonna carry in a little fanny pack. And then you've got a little carrying loop. This thing was like 15 bucks, 14.97, something like that at Wally World. And like I said, it's a fanny pack or you can adjust it to where it is a sling pack. And it being a really good sling pack, you just swing it around, take out what you need. And with it being so adjustable, you could have it sit as high on you as you want. Anyway, hope y'all liked that little video down here on the farm creek. I definitely had fun making it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.